Greetings, everyone. I'm Jack, and I am the best man. Hello. Abraham Lincoln famously once said, a good speech should be like a woman's skirt. Long enough to cover the essentials, but short enough to be exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so very pleased Connor finally found someone who he trusts, cherishes, loves, and is willing to share his life with. He found this person 28 years ago. <laughs> he met me. <laughs> That's right, Aaron. He's mine. I found him first. <laughs> I first met Con back in the mid 90s. <laughs> These were simpler times. Gas was cheap. Kids played outside. Pa had all his hair. <laughs> the streets were safe, and Mary couldn't drive. <laughs> These were the good old days. When they brought Connor home from the hospital, I was speechless. To be fair, I was like two. <laughs> One of Connor's best qualities is that he is brave. It's essentially a requirement in the Army, but the bravest thing he's done so far is he's trusted me with this speech. <laughs> Conball's the guy you want in your foxhole. He's strong, brave, doesn't snore, the guy doesn't even need a pillow, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Aaron, if that isn't perfect husband material, I don't know what is. You don't even need to share the covers with him. <laughs> Few people know this, but Aaron knew in her heart that Connor was the one for her after he had solved in a Rubik's Cube in front of her. I recall seeing Connor solve in a Rubik's Cube at home growing up. No, I didn't fall in love with him. But rather, I <laughs> that girls don't go for that. <laughs> Turns out I was dead wrong. <laughs> Connor and I spent many hours each summer at our good friend Wesley Bright's house, assembling life-size puzzles that were made by hand by his father Cameron. Cameron is the ultimate puzzle master wrapped in an enigma. Even the driveway can be a labyrinth at times. <laughs> Cameron Bright makes the most rewarding puzzles known to man, which could very well be an analogy for marriage. <laughs> Finding where all the parts go while working together is well worth the effort in the end. I would like to present something to the two of you, but first, I would like to instruct Connor to place his hand on top of Evans. Now, Connor, look very closely because this is likely the last time you'll have the upper hand. made for you signify your marriage. I was told to steer clear from such analogies, but I figure there's no dress rehearsals in real life and not to believe everything you read on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> Especially the ads about all the hot singles dying to meet me. <laughs> I know that if you work at it, if you honor and love each other each day, that it will be more than worth the effort in the end. And remember, you can always phone a friend, whether it's the puzzle or in general. I wish the two of you fair winds following seas on your voyage yet to come, and know that your older brother will always love you. If everyone could please raise a glass and join me in a toast. To love, to laughter, and to happy ever after. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Thank you, Jack.